Biden is expected to appear within the next few minutes. He will sign an executive order, and that's important to quote, advance effective, accountable policing and strengthen public safety. After years of vilifying law enforcement, defunding the police, letting criminals walk out of jail just to kill innocent people, Joe Biden now wants to impose new mandates on federal law enforcement agencies and put further limits on local police. Some of the counterproductive things this executive order will do is create a police misconduct database, create new annual anti-bias training, and expand Obama-era restrictions on military equipment transfers. In other words, let's micromanage our law enforcement, which is already jumping through hoops, trying not to upset their liberal lawmakers. This comes on the second anniversary of the death of George Floyd, which sparked riots across the country, and just coincidentally comes a day after one of the biggest school shootings ever. A madman in Uvalde, Texas, running into an elementary school, barricading himself inside a classroom and killing at least 19 little babies, children, and two teachers inside. Nothing that Joe Biden will sign as part of his executive order today will stop this from happening again. If anything, it may make things worse. The Democrat attack on law enforcement creating policies which would make policing harder and more dangerous. Meanwhile, using race as an excuse to let crime run rampant and doing nothing but encouraging thugs who don't care about human life to commit horrific crimes. The Democrats could pass laws that would add more security to places like schools and houses of worship, and they could increase prison sentences and increase funding for police recruitment. Those are a couple ideas, but no, the left has only two moves, background checks and take away our guns. In the coming weeks, no doubt, we'll be hearing more about this idea for a universal background check. And with a Democrat majority, it just might make its way through this time. And when they realize their precious background checks won't reduce any crime and won't stop these tragic deaths from happening again, watch out, for, folks. They're coming after your guns because that's what they're going after next.